now overflows each child comes as seed of awakening each child comes in the world as the seed of awakening with tremendous potentiality and built-in program and life begins its journey from seed to fruits in that the process of blo blossoming happens seed is the beginning and fruit is the end for a healthy fruit a healthy seed is needed between the seed and fruit is the entire process seed depends on the inner development of the parents and then as a gardener how the seed is being taken care of instead of condemning the seed and the entire process the awakened one should share their insights and bring a totally new vision to the entire process of life and living this way we can be better parents and prepare ourselves for the birth of a higher consciousness through the seed the very purpose of this series is to share my insights and realization with life and the process from conception through fruition through various stages the process involves the gardener his understanding of the seed awareness of the preparation of the soil planting the seed nourishing and nurturing during the seedling state transplanting in a place where it can grow to full potential then he waits for the tree to bear the first flowers it is these flowers that later become fruits in the journey of the fruition of the seed the life of the fruit or the life of the fruit seed is very important i guess this you understand and so will be the case of your so called religious custodians a master or the awakened one is the gardener of the inner now let me explain about your life your body comes into existence as interaction between ovum and sperm ovum is feminine in nature therefore comes from the mother sperm is masculine in nature and comes from the father together these ovum and sperm constitute the seed through their interaction this seed has to be planted in a fertile soil provided by mother's womb understanding of the parents this process is in interaction between male and female at the physical plane this needs a loving environment and a deep understanding it may happen you can be the, under the influence of an awakened one as happened in case of jesus in jesus birth we have the inclusion of holy ghost so the consciousness of the parents was completely overshadowed by the presence of holy ghost the higher spirit that is the reason we call jesus was born out of an immaculate conception although the interaction happened with the physical level but the consciousness of mary and joseph was not at that level 
the mental state and awareness of the parents at the time of conception will determine the type of soul will enter the body at the moment when parents are involved in the act of love making myriads of souls are hovering waiting for the right womb to enter if you have to invite a higher soul or a higher fruition blossoming higher quality of blossoming then the womb has to be prepared just as the gardener prepares the soil and nourishes and nurtures during the process for flower to attain its full potential it is said about maya devi the mother of gautam buddha that before the birth of siddharth she envisioned a six head white tusker was descending from an unknown realm and it came over her and then decomposed into light and light dissolved into her womb such were the experience of many others when the seed matures it assumes the birth the process of life begins and when life attains fruition you attain bliss as the fruit of the seed that was planted by your parents thus they have given you the opportunity to attain the bliss of blossoming one who has attained to bliss needs nothing no scripture no prayer no ritual is needed all these become meaningless for a buddha for a jesus for a jarathrustra for a lausi all those who have attained to blossoming the scriptures become meaningless there is a vast category of baser minds who consider themselves as the custodian of religion they do not want anyone to attain to bliss or experience the eternal because that's where their business lies they will lose business because there will be no one seeking the help of these religious custodians a buddha need not go to a priest a jesus need not go to a priest if everyone knows the art of remaining healthy there will be no need for the doctors i have heard 5000 years ago in china the responsibility of the doctor was to keep you healthy if the doctor was capable of keeping the patient healthy doctors were being paid and if the doctor is not able to keep the patient healthy then doctor has to pay the money to the patient but now the doctors keep you as a customer not as a patient so that the business continues so the doctors have created a balance in giving you only certain hints about health thus they maintain their business like approach by keeping you at the lower ebb of health religion is the way to transform baser into precious from the dawn of human civilization this male female interaction has been condemned the seed the process of conception sex has been condemned in this the business of keeping you miserable continues but we forget one thing if you go on condemning the seed and the process how can you expect a healthy fruit 
life of misery continues as the conspiracy of the priestly community as long as sex the seed the existential bioenergy is condemned and the approach of the society remains derogatory towards the entire process we cannot create a mentally healthy human being who is capable of blossoming into his buddhahood awakening indeed instead of condemning the seed and the entire process the awakened one should share their insights and bring a totally new vision but the problem is everyone gravitates towards the priests because priests will suggest you rituals an awakened one will not tell you anything about the rituals his way is of transformation of consciousness because ritualistic way is the lowest form of religion the aboriginals the tribal people are interested in those and they feel by doing the sacrifice by doing the rituals a ritualistic dance around the god will please the gods then there is a next category of religion the religion of logic or intellect in this category comes your so called religions hinduism christianity islam judaism all these but there is a higher religion which is intuitive which is not religion in reality instituted religiosity the quality of being religious the way we can be a better this way if you are listening to the message of the awakened ones you can be a better pre parents and you can prepare yourselves for the birth of higher consciousness through the seed that and you can bring can invite a higher soul to enter the womb enough for now